How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing, always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about ChargePoint and as well as for SoFi. SoFi was able to pull off a green day and ChargePoint had a red day. So you can see we continue to have volatility inside of these markets, but we have CPI that's gonna be coming out tomorrow. So many are asking those questions, wanting to know those levels. So we'll talk about it in this video. So if you're new to this channel, I just wanna let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a look at the charts we're going to be taking a look at the short interest and then when all of that is done i'll be giving you guys my final thoughts so let's get into those videos right now so we're going to take a look at the chart for sofi let's see how it performed on the day so it ended up closing at five dollars and eight cents being up 1.60 percent on the low it tested four dollars and 88 cents and then on the high testing five dollars and 12 cents when we take a look at the volume stats on the day you can see we traded at 26.19 million shares and the the average volume over 10 trading days is at 33.628 million shares. So we had below average volume on the day and we saw some strength in the stock. Now, when we take a look at our chart, which is our daily chart, what we could see here, we could see that SoFi is continuing to do a great job defending the 52 week low that it tested yesterday. And why is that? We ended up getting a higher low, even though we did not get a higher high. So again, that is a bullish start. So where do we want to see SoFi get to or even have a close above? Of course, it would be that 510 level. The 9 EMA is at $5.12 and that's exactly where we had resistance on the day. So if we're able to gain some momentum and break out of this area, then I'd want to see SoFi getting to $5.36. You've heard me mention this before and this is right where we have the 21 EMA. We could have some selling pressure here but that's a very key level add that to your homework and if we get to break above that level you guys should know this already we're looking for that move going into the 550s we had resistance back here on september the 26th so keep that in mind as well and a break above this level will send us right to 576 so again those are the areas you want to watch especially intraday and if we have a lot of buying coming into the market again we have some key data that's coming out tomorrow now as far as for the low of the day or the downside is concerned Concerned. If we end up breaking the low of the day, then of course we will test the 52 week low. And if we break below that 52 week low, that's where I can see SoFi coming down to the 470s or the 460s. Again, it all depends on the market conditions, but it's something that you want to watch. But I think I've said this many times in the past when SoFi is trading under $5, I like it a lot. But if you're thinking about taking a position, do your homework, of course. So let's move on to the short interest information. So we're going to take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for SoFi. So scrolling down on the page, green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed positions. So when we take a look at the recent filings we have here, we can see for October the 11th, we have Householder Group Estate and Retirement Specialist LLC that purchased 200 shares and we don't have any new or closed positions, but we do have some recent changes that have been happening, especially for the 12th. So we have Iron Horse wealth management that went in with four shares we also have sol capital management with 10,735 shares and you can see there's a value change of negative 8.77 percent we also have haran securities inc that has 100 shares and you can see a value change of 100 percent next we have acorn financial advisory services inc that went in with calls with a value of 200 shares and we also see them with another position of 241,650 six shares and as far as for the value change it looks like an increase of 21.17 percent and that's pretty much it for the 12th now when we take a look at the short interest the off exchange short volume ratio is at 43.04 percent and then for the off exchange short volume it is just over 8.27 million shares scrolling down on the page the short shares availability is at 10 million updated 15 minutes ago and then for the short ball fee rate it is at 0.67 percent when we take a look at the history of the short volume we can see for the close of the 10th it was at 41.22 and then for the close of the 11th being at 43.04 so it went up a little bit and then when we take a look at the short interest percentage of the float being at 12.35 percent so far does continue to have short squeeze potential so we're going to take a look at the chart for charge point let's see how it performed on the day so it ended up closing at 
$0.89, cents, being down 2.33%. On the low, it tested $13.08, and then on the high, testing $13.87. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 6.011 million shares, and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 7.679 million shares. So you can see that we did have below average volume on the day, and we saw a little bit of weakness in the stock. Now, when we take a look at our chart, which is our daily chart, well, we can clearly see that charge point seems to be holding support quite well, right around 13 bucks. So that is good to see. We had a low of the day at $13.08, which was a higher low from the previous trading day, which looks like it was around $12.94. So with that said, and seeing that it did make a high at $13.87, I'd want to see charge point being able to make a move to go back to $14.38 or that $14.30 range. We've already seen this area act as support going as far back. And you know what? We have to go further back than Friday, September the 23rd. It also has shown to hold up back here in August. And we also have seen it hold up right over here in July. And again, this is why I say very important level here. So could it be an area of resistance if ChargePoint tries to make a move up further? Most definitely. It's also not too far off from the 9 EMA, which is at $14.50. So if we end up getting a rejection and we have to retest 13, then I could see us breaking through. And if we do decide to break through or we decide to go lower going into tomorrow, maybe the data comes out as far as for the CPI not being good, then we could also know that we have a gap that needs to be filled on charge point right here at $11.58. Sense. And as far as foreign investment is concerned, I think it does deserve a lot of consideration around this area, but of course, do your homework. So again, at least you guys know what it looks like to the upside as well as for the downside. And if you missed it, you want to see if ChargePoint can make that move to get back above 14 and a half or around that area. And if it decides to show some downside pressure and if $13 decides to break, that's where we have the gap filled to the downside. Let's move on to the short interest. So we're going to take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for ChargePoint. So scrolling down on the page, green rows indicate new positions, while red rows indicate closed positions. So when we take a look at the recent filings we have here for the 12th, we have Haran Securities Inc. that close out their positions. And we also see that Christopher Whale and Company Core Investment Fund that has shares of 11077 which is a value of 180 80,000. So we could see them loading up. And we could also take a look at the filings for the 11th. We have Beacon Capital Management Inc. that closed their position. But we have Householder Group Estate and Retirement Specialist LLC that has 300 shares and that is a value of 4,000. Now when we take a look at the short interest, the off exchange short volume ratio is at 41.53 percent. And then for the off exchange short volume it is just over 1.35 million shares. Scrolling down on the page is short shares of availabilities at 250,000 updated 10 minutes ago and then for the short ball fee rate it is at 1.73 percent when we take a look at the history the short volume we could see for the close of the 10th it was at 43.93 and then for the close of the 11th being at 41.53 so it did go down a little bit and then when we take a look at the short interest percentage of the float being at 17.25 percent charge point does continue to have short squeeze potential so for my final thoughts for charge point and as well as for SoFi, let's start off with ChargePoint. So we ended up seeing a high at $13.87 and we saw a low at $13.08. So it's good to see that ChargePoint is holding up support right at $13. We've seen it go just a little bit below that as well, but it's good to see that there's some strength there. So going into tomorrow, what do you want to see? You want to see ChargePoint getting to that level we've talked about many times on this channel around $14.38. Sense. This has been a well-known area of support, but the big question is, can it turn into resistance if ChargePoint tries to test this level? If that ends up being the case, that's why I was saying if we have a strong rejection and we see more weakness inside of these markets, ChargePoint does have a gap that needs to be filled around $11.58. So I want to make sure that you guys add that to your notes, especially for all of my bears or if you're looking to buy puts. And as far as for the upward movement upon getting to $14.38, then you know that you want to see charge 
charge point going to $15 and the next level after that is around $16.51 to see a turnaround and a strong uptrend. So knowing these levels does give you an opportunity to come up with a game plan, so use it wisely. Check out the chart portion of the video if you want to see even more details and to see my reasoning as well. Now, as far as for SoFi is concerned, for all of my investors out there, I've said this over and over again, I like this play when it's trading below five bucks. But of course, you need to do your research and do your homework to make sure it is right for you. You want to make sure you have high conviction because if it decides to pull back even further, you're going to load up on a dip. But aside from that, what do you want to see from SoFi? You want to see SoFi wanting to make a move getting to at least $5.36. If it's able to get to this level, then we know as far as resistance, it's going to be around $5.50. And a break above this level, if you've been watching the videos long enough, will be right around $5.76 where we start seeing some resistance. Add all of these levels to your notes. I'm not saying that SoFi is going to get to $5.76 on Thursday. All I'm saying is, are there certain areas you want to watch? I will say it again, 536 the 550s, and as well as 576. And as far as for the downside is concerned, you can see that we defended the 52 week low and we had a low at $4.88. So then of course you wanna see that break on that 52 week low and see if so far I can get down to the 470s or even down to the 460s. But in my personal opinion, bulls would wanna show up and buy up the play at those particular levels. But if so far I continues to show some strength, like I said, it can move up very quickly. I know it hasn't been moving up a lot, but we have to take into consideration the market conditions. And for both of these plays, they do continue to have short squeeze potential. No surprise, they are growth stocks with a lot of shorts vested. We are in a bear market. So the moment we have a turnaround, I am telling you guys, and I've said this before, these are the plays that are going to move up fast and you want to have a game plan so you can make money off of it. And we've done this many times in the past. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let's see how these stocks perform going into tomorrow with the CPI data that's going to be coming out as well. I'll be talking to you guys real soon.